everyone, I'm Julie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a little wall plaque that's going to be painted with DIY paint, and then we're going to do some raised stenciling on there, and then we're going to do some wet distressing, and maybe put some flowers on there, hand painted little flowers, something easy, something simple. So, this is actually something that I had started before and uh, did not, didn't see it through. So I'm going to use this for my, my project today. I've got my DIY paints. I'm gonna use these four colors for the background. Then I'm gonna put another coat over it once that's dry. And then I'm gonna do my raised stenciling. And then we're gonna paint the flowers. And I am going to use this. I don't know if this might be backwards, but it says pray more, worry less. Let's see. I've got Kissing Booth, Queen Bee, um, some Gypsy Green, and Old 57. Awesome colors. So I'm just gonna put those on randomly. Doesn't matter. You can put them in a pattern if you want, or you can just you know, do it random. However you want. let it dry by itself dries really quick or you can do a heat gun um, be careful if you use a heat gun one time when I was painting something at DIY headquarters and uh, I put a I think it was like a piece of furniture and I had a mold on there or something and I was just I was really just wanted to get the um, the mold dry and get it done and I kept I was using the heat gun. It was the first time I used the heat gun because I'm used to just doing with the blow dryer. Uh, putting the heat gun on, drying it out, and stopping it, setting it down, going back. And I was so um, distracted. You know, I was in a rush when I was doing it, so I was distracted. And then I set the, the heat gun down, and when I went to go pick it up, I picked it up on the wrong end, on the metal heat part of it. And... It was hot, hot, really. And every day we we would always have our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And this day, so after I'm getting ahead of myself. After um, you know, I was putting ice on it, and I'm like ready, ready to cry, and it's just so much pain. Melissa comes in and says, you know, the, um, if we had mustard. You could put that on your, your burn because that's supposed to really help. That day, Stephanie happened to bring in a ham sandwich and the bread had mustard on it. And like I said, we always just used to bring in our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And But somehow, some reason, that day she had this, this sandwich. So she gave me uh, her, her bread with the mustard on it. And I just wrapped my finger in the, the bread and um, had her bread with mustard on my finger all day. And it still hurt, but I think that it really helped to um, not, you know, I didn't, I had a blister afterwards, but it wasn't as bad. So anyways, so I'm going to put the stencil here and... I've got my joint compound, which is normally like a, a gray color, but um, I made this the same thing before, and last time I put it on there and I used the joint compound, and I went back and painted it white, but this time I took the joint compound and I added um, some white swan, DIY white swan to it. I really like the, the chunky texture to it, so I'm going to just take a glop of it and I'm gonna just like put it on there, and so I'll have like more more texture to it, and then I can sand it down 
when it's dry if I don't like exactly what I have. So hopefully this will go okay doing it this way. everyone it's me again guess what putting your project on the easel and trying to stencil ray stenciling joint compound not a good idea epic fail it was bad it was ugly I took the thing off and it was no bueno so we're gonna do this again. You need a flat surface when you're working with joint compound and doing this ray stenciling. And I tried to just go through it and it was awful. There may have been tears. There may have been a meltdown. I almost gave up. But then I thought, you know what? No, because I have not been dressed or makeup in like two weeks because of this quarantine. And I thought, I got dressed today. I put makeup on today. I'm finishing this. I'm not gonna have wasted that. I fixed up the panel after scraping all the joint compound on it and repainted it, got it back to where it was, and now I'm going to do it the proper way. Okay, so the joint compound is dry, and it actually didn't take 24 hours. It was dry uh, probably within four hours or so. Um, so it's ready to go. I'm gonna just dip my my paper towel in here in this dish of water. This actually is a, Debbie got this for me for Christmas. It's like to hold my little brushes when I'm painting. I love this little dish. Um, anyway, so I squeeze out the water and um, one of the cool things about DIY paint is water will reactivate it. So I'm going to just lightly brush over it and that's gonna pull off Bohemian Blue. You gotta be careful though, because if you keep going with lots of water and a lot of pressure, it's gonna take off your second layer of paint. And I don't want that, I want that to come through. <laughs> So now, so there we go. We have the wet distressing. Can't really fully see it because the Bohemian Blue is still wet, but that's gonna be really pretty. So over here, I'm going to paint some flowers. more worry less and I actually I like the little blue around the edges there I don't know if you can see it I decided to keep it and just touch it up with the white a little bit um, but I really like it um, and then I'm going you could either it's gonna be hanging on the wall nobody's gonna be touching it so you know you don't have to seal it if you don't want to but if you do the chalk paint um, is the colors are gonna pop more so right now it's dry 
um, or when it's dry, it's gonna be a lot flatter, but once you put the big top over it, it's all those colors are gonna really pop. So I think once it dries, I'm gonna seal it with big top, and then I'm going to hang it on the wall. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.